Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem thirteen in chapter fourteen. Chapter fourteen is about oscillations. So this in this picture it shows two examples about simple harmonic motions, A and B, right? So first one we need to find the amplitude for A and B. So very easy for amplitude A. We look at this picture. Yeah, two point five. Look at the picture B at this peak, three point five. No problem. Then in this one. Frequency for a, so frequency we first find the period for a is four mid four seconds there, right? The fr so from the this point to this point four seconds, and uh, uh the period, and the frequency is one over period, so it become one over four, zero point two five hertz. Now look at the b, the period for b is two seconds from this point to this point two seconds, and then the frequency is one over Period, so it becomes one over two zero zero point five hertz. The next one we need to write the equations for a and b in sine or cosine. So first one we look at a. It start from the zero. Of course, it's the sine, right? And b it start at the peak, cosine. No problem. The next one it looks like we need to find the amplitude and the angular velocity. Amplitude is there, no problem. Now we look at the omega angular velocity. Angular velocity for a is two pi f a a is given, so we get it is there easy. Now look at the angular velocity for b, two pi f b just a pi. Now we input the omega a and the amplitude for a inside get function for x t for a right. Similarly for b, it's cosine, so we input. Input a b and omega b inside gives the answer x b. Thank you.